What's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel and today's video I'm going to show you a brand new FPS boost pack here in Fortnite chapter 3 to just simply overall increase your performance especially while playing arena guys and trust me everything I'm going to show you in today's video is going to be brand new I never showed this before here on my channel so therefore please make sure to watch the whole entire video I'm going to explain it and trust me it will make so much sense and if you enjoyed this content please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel I by the way also just recently uploaded my full setup tour guys my new setup 2022 so therefore make sure to check out that video afterwards and with that said, let's get straight into this topic. And yeah guys, what I want you to do pretty much in the first place is click on the first link in the description guys and just simply go here to my website where I'm going to upload the latest pack which is going to have the, exactly the same thumbnail and the same name as the current um, video you're right now watching. And what you guys want to do is click like on the recent video, you know I obviously still haven't made the thumbnail so therefore it's not here on the site. And then you're just simply going to click onto it, you know you might maybe get like a small pop-up ad but afterwards you can open up the site. Click here onto download and it should redirect you to the Google Drive link where you can get the current FPS boost pack from today's video. Just simply click here onto download download and you already got it on your PC and now let's get straight into the tutorial. And yeah guys the first program we're actually going to take a look at in today's video is called Fan Control version 105 and what's so insanely good about this program is it will automatically scan all the fans which are installed in your PC, you know your CPU fan, system fan 1, system fan 2, 3, 4, system fan 6, you know, just like all these slots on your motherboard where could be theoretically a fan installed, you know and also the ones from your GPU and usually you can't really control them without having like a CPU controller built in into your PC which makes this tool actually so much better because you don't need that guys you can just simply do it over your motherboard so therefore it should work with like pretty much any PC and you can see we can also change actually our CPU fan speed yeah I'm just gonna leave it here on 50% that's like the normal value these fans should run usually and my CPU is still cool enough so therefore I'm just gonna keep it but I already changed here my CPU fan 1 actually to 75% or maybe I'm gonna put it like to 70 you know you just have to enable it here then you're gonna go on these three dots and you're gonna check here manual control and I can now just like put them all here actually up to 70% and we can also see how many spins we pretty much have per minute so my system fan 1 has around like 760 spins per minute there we have like around like 786 spins per minute and on my last one I'm just gonna put it as well here onto something like 70 you know just a little bit higher just to make sure that my CPU case is super cool and what's also super cool is you can also change the ones on your GPU guys so let's just say I want to change here the ones on my RTX 4070 Ti I'm just gonna enable it go here as well into manual and then I'm just gonna push it to something like 60 maybe I don't know just to make sure that it's running like super cool you know like um, my PC case is actually silent so therefore I don't really hear it too much and I just put it like now to 60 and I right now actually have my PC case open because I just filmed the setup review guys so therefore yeah I can actually hear that it's working like harder and yeah it's right now here on 60% on almost 2000 spins per minute which is crazy but I think as soon as I'm gonna close my CPU case again I shouldn't be able to hear it and I just make sure that my GPU is running like super um, cool you know which is overall gonna make it a little bit more stable you're not gonna lose FPS or anything you know because actually the warmer your GPU is the more stutter you could potentially get you know you just don't want to cross like these temperatures and yeah that's just overall like a super cool tool I mean you can just change it with pretty much any PC without having this fan controller installed in your PC case you know like these small boxes which you usually have to put like on the back side of your PC uh, where you plug like all the fans and you know you don't need that you can just do it over this tool which is just amazing in my opinion and therefore we're pretty much done here already with the first step and you can see now guys if we want to close the program it's gonna ask us here if we want to save it we're gonna of course gonna click on to save and yeah, that's pretty much already it. You don't even have to let the program run in the background. You just change it like that and your PC is gonna run way cooler. And for the second program, I actually want to show you guys in today's video, we're gonna take a look at Mem Optimizer. And I know I already showed tons of tools like these here on my channel, but I gotta say Mem Optimizer is actually the best one because it's so simple, guys. What you're gonna do, you're just simply gonna go here into installation, you know, just agree here, go through the installation process and everything. I've already here installed it, obviously. So I'm just gonna launch the program. And what it's going to do is it's going to initialize like all the RAM available on your PC. For me it's here right now 31.9 gigs so pretty much at 32 gigs of RAM. And you can see I have 27.8 gigs free and around like 13% I actually use right now which are 4 gigs of RAM. And what do you want to do just simply while gaming is leave this here in the background you know. You're just gonna hop into Fortnite or whatever you know and while you're playing you will probably see that your RAM is gonna get filled up with some temporary data because that's just simply how RAM works and if you see that this value goes like too high or something or you uh, realize that you have like stutter in Fortnite you're just gonna click on to optimize and it's gonna again um, pretty much clear out the whole entire temporary data on your RAM 
So therefore like more is available, you know, like more free RAM is available and the more free RAM you have, the more FPS you can actually get because at some point, if you have two less of the free RAM, especially on something like eight gigs of RAM, this might be a huge issue and actually cause FPS stutter. So what I'm going to do now is hop actually into Fortnite and show you how insanely smooth my game actually feels and how much FPS I get. Trick kick. Trick kick as well. Okay. I just hit Bro, you. that was so close. Just <laughs> gonna get you real quick. Big pot. Yeah, there. Yeah, on the backside. No, it's like foot. She cut? Yep. Fighting. Yeah. Right. Uh, someone is rebooting. Someone is rebooting. Oh, I get up in deep. I got. I got. Wait. Do you have minis? Yeah. Do you make sure I get the finish. Are oh, you showing up right? Fight. Yeah, he's running away. Dead. Nice. Then the open. Why are they dead? Could you go for the finish? He's like behind the truck. Check it. I got spider man. What the hell? Get in there, maybe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's go from here. Let's go here on this one. Huh? Uh, sure. Are these building up? Oh, they fucking won't be the one. Let's go! Let's go! Yeah guys, if you enjoyed today's video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel This Without Mode. Say so much, and if you still have any more questions, feel free to ask me them down in the comment section below. I try to answer as many as possible. And with that said, have a great day, have a great night whenever you're watching this. And until next time, stay awesome. I'm out. Peace.